Grateful to return home. Repairs complete. Residents finally moved back this week, months after a tornado, tore the roof off Roundhouse Manor. A Kakana apartment complex uh, housed those with uh, disabilities and the elderly. The F1 tornado with an estimated wind speed of 95 miles an hour cut a swath more than a mile long over the course of just four minutes this past May. In the first Lord update, Samantha Cavalli spoke with volunteers from that night and residents about what it means to finally be back home. They gave us a couple minutes to grab things and, you know, they said for a few days and it's been months. <laughs> Janine Dodds is among 50 residents thankful to return to Roundhouse Manor two days ago after the apartment complex suffered major damage from an EF1 tornado in May. On the night of the storm, Dodds arrived home after spending time with friends just before the tornado hit. We get to our apartments and that's when it sounded like a double barreled shotgun going off by my window and I guess it was the tree hitting the roof. Before the roof on this portion of the building was completely torn off by the tornado, but nearly five months later, residents are able to move back into their homes and have a roof over their heads once again. On Wednesday, the manor hosting a tornado survivors welcome home party to celebrate the return of its residents. The celebration included remarks from state and local leaders, as well as the Retirement Housing Foundation and the first responders from the American Red Cross who helped in their time of need. It's really cool to say that I'm a resident of Kakana, to be able to step up and say, yeah, you know, I get to say that I was part of something in my own hometown but also seeing my hometown stepping up to help their own community. It means a lot to be able to come here and not only revisit with all of the residents that we got to know so well, but to also see how far they've come and how they've really come together through all of this too. The Roundhouse Manor Service Coordinator says the support from the community was overwhelming. People just started, when can I bring food? Where can I drop this off? So I have to thank everybody in the community that reached out through Facebook, through lifting up our community. Uh, we had so much food dropped off, so many hygiene items and clothing and support. It was just incredible. The Retirement Housing Foundation provided $100 gift cards to each resident and donated $1,000 to the Roundhouse Manor to help update its community room. In Kokona, Samantha Cavalli, Action 2 News.